Hey, welcome back to Better Than Yourself. Today I'm Better Than Yourself, drying herbs. I'm, it's getting a little late in the season. The, um, the oregano is pretty much um, taken over here. What I want to do today is show you how to dry some oregano. Really, it's just a super simple method that um, you can use to put away a lot of this oregano and get it ready for um, you know the, the long winter months where we don't have some fresh herbs to use in our cooking. But what I'm going to do is we're just going to cut some of this and what I do is dry in the microwave. And it sounds kind of weird, I know, but it works really well and it's really fast and preserves it really well. And then we can use it throughout the winter when we don't have any fresh herbs to use. So here, first step, let's get some of this cut. This will grow back, this is a perennial where I live. So I'll just cut a good bit of it here. <laughs> um, that ought to be enough to, to get started. Now, once I've got my oregano inside here, what I need to do is just strip the leaves. Well, not those leaves. I want to strip the oregano leaves from the, from the stems here. And you can do it just by pulling the stems through your, through your fingertips. And you can get, try to get most of the, the bulk of the stems out. Um, if you waste a little bit, you can see I've got too much already. But literally take the, 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 the stalk like this, the stem, and just pull that off and get all your nice little leaves. You've got some, some bigger leaves, you've got... But this is just a matter of getting the stems out. So what I like to do with the microwave is basically I've got two sheets of paper towels, the paper towel that I put the, the oregano on, and then I'll microwave it for a minute. Just spread that out there, get these distributed, and then we'll just do a quick minute on the uh, herbs. Now where this method really shines is, what you do is you have a couple of setups going. You have yeah, that three paper towel layered platform with more fresh herbs on it. And then you keep taking them out, let it go one minute, and then put the next batch in. You can see they've already dried out considerably, but I'm gonna take this out, put my new fresh herbs in, Spread them out nice. And then one minute. So now while the other batch is going in the microwave, I'll take what I just took out of the microwave and put them on some dry paper towels. So I've got this sort of damp ones here. I'm just gonna kind of let these rest in between, let the, the moisture come out of them. And then with these on some dry paper towels, I'll do for another minute, 30 seconds, but I want to be careful. I don't want to burn these herbs because, you know, with their, their herbs, their flavors, there's volatile oils involved, there's, you know, uh, some kind of delicate taste that you don't want to microwave, but we want to get them dried out. So I think probably one more minute on this batch. Let's see what, what I've got over here in the other microwave. So here's what just came out of the microwave. Here's our um, sort of drying paper towels, and, and they literally, I mean, they're hot from the microwave, so it's just the, sort of the steam that needs to dissipate. Put our uh, dry herb down, and then when that batch comes out, this batch will go in. Again, for about a minute. Let the, uh, we'll let the moisture come out of these guys, and we'll get, and these will get ready for uh, the big switcheroo. And as you can see, we're getting drier, so let's make up our new semi-dry. And you just keep doing this. Eventually, you're gonna go shorter and shorter time. Eventually, like these are still kind of pliable. And I'm going for like crisp, because any bit, last bit of moisture in these really needs to be driven out, or you're, you're, they're not gonna keep very well. So, eh, let's go, I think I'll go 30 seconds this time and see how we do. Here, this batch was about 45 seconds, and hear that? That's crisp. 
these are done. So just make sure that there's no extra big leaves or kind of woody stems. I like to kind of finish your little stripping technique we were doing earlier with any of the larger stems that might be in here. Get that out. And then maybe another 15 seconds. But I think, I mean, I can literally powder these. These are dry. I think, I think we're good to go. I think we're gonna get these into a jar. Yeah, these are dry. And I just like to save my little spice jars. Uh, yeah, wash them out, run them through the dishwasher, get the labels off them, and then you can literally just kind of crush these up and uh, fill a jar. And you can literally just kind of crinkle it up and fill your jar with it. And this works great for uh, mint, uh, parsley. I've actually done this with uh, with herbs that I bought. You know, you buy the little packet in the supermarket because you need it for a recipe or something like that. And then you have, I don't know, basil leaves or mint leaves, parsley leaves, dill that you've used for something. And then you've got, you're not gonna use, you know, you've got the little leftover bit in the box that you paid $4 for and you wanna, you know, preserve it somehow. This is a great technique to use that little bit from the expensive box from the uh, produce department, dry it on some paper towels, put it in a little jar and, and use it. It's almost fresh herbs. But I hope you like this technique, you guys. Uh, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time on Better Done Yourself.